Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be discussing multi axis drilling. Multi axis drilling allows you from one home position to drill out holes that are located on different axes on the part itself, as shown in this part on the screen. Or we have one home position here on top, but we want to drill out every single one of these holes, which is not on the same axis. We'll start our operation by choosing the option of multi-axis drill. In our geometry, we define our geometry with two possibilities. One, automatically or manually. If I have to choose manual, for creating my geometry, all I have to do is go to each hole individually and either click on the wall of the hole or on the floor of the hole and it'll choose that hole. Don't want any of those? Simply click on the X on the side to remove that particular group. The other option is created them automatically. By creating them automatically, all I have to do is click on Find Holes and it will automatically find every single hole that's on the part itself. We also have a set of filters here, if I want, that I can filter out the holes according to hole diameter or hole height, through holes or blind holes as well. In this particular case, I won't be using any of the filters. I'll simply click on Find Holes and you'll see it will automatically find me every single hole that's on the part itself and if I want I can also click on show all drill directions by clicking on show all drill directions I see also the direction of each individual hole next I'll choose my tool I'll be choosing a 10 millimeter tool and in my levels you'll note there is no lower level because that's automatically picked up from the part itself but we have our clearance area control. In our clearance area control, just like in regular five axis, we can either choose plane, cylinder, or in this case, since this is five axis, I'll be using a sphere, where I'll have my pivot point at one particular area, and have as the tool go through clearance area of a sphere itself. I can choose my pivot point by simply clicking on this button over here, and choose the pivot point as I like. For example, I can pick this point down over here as shown, which is 150 millimeters below my home level. My sphere radius will be 200 millimeters, so it'll be approximately 50 millimeters at its closer point, closest point around the part itself over here. My technology, we have our usual drill technologies as available, including our sort sequence as shown over here. And as in any fifth axis, we also have motion limit controls. Let's do save and calculate. And if we take a look at our simulation, you see that the tool will go around to each and every one of those holes and it moved around in a spherical w pattern around the part itself. If we take a look at our simulation again using the host CAD, you can actually see the tool path around the part using that sphere clearance level. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.